Hello, my wonderful dear from brothers and sisters. My South Eastern, my Igbo brothers, anywhere we want to go, I they carry through way or I they carry salute, they through way give honor. Say, make on a do what, make on a they enjoy on a Monday. Oh, well, uh, on a still remember, say, I they manage my voice, so I'm just trying everything humanly possible to make sure that I bring uh, some news to the doorstep of my people. So, anyhow, we want to take see me and beg, make on a manage me like that. Um, uh, that's why I know go to shout to like the way I used to do. Well, according to the news that is got into my desk this morning, you know, concerning the ruling where um, where the tribunal, I uh, be election tribunal ruled in Enugu State Human Rights Writers Association uh, of Nigeria or of Biafra Land, or as you may choose to call them, have come out now to ask uh, this our government. It seems like uh, uh, people going to school now is of no use since anybody can force certificate and become a governor or president. So make on a see what in they talk. They say your ruling has shown that political aspirants are free to manipulate their certificates. Human Rights Writers Association uh, to tribunal in Enugu State. This one is part of our headline. Oh, and the Yoruba elders, they don't call for Akintoye, Sunday Buhos return, and knock uh, also they knock Obasanjo about uh, what they call a public disgrace to the monarch while uh, on a commissioning project. Well, uh, Boko Haram, uh, they don't chase members Chase, um, they, okay, they ambush um, a motorist and kill a soldier and three civilians. I'm still waiting to hear when the soldiers will go to Brununa community and begin to fire, destroy people's lives and property. That kind of thing could only happen in the southeast because, uh, uh, what do they call it? The Nigeria Air Force helicopter was shot down, killing about 38 of their military till today. I didn't hear they visit uh, one community, they destroy their farmlands and their shops and the midst of their livelihood. It only happened in the southeast. Yet, you people will come out and tell us we are one Nigeria. Where is that one Nigeria happening in this regard? Well, my wonderful people, I beg you, let us not take much time because today is Monday. So I have a lot of news on my desk to give to my people. So make on a here, waiting, Human Rights Writers Association of uh, Nigeria, within the talk concerning the rulings. Where they go on on this uh, contraption called Nigeria, be on this third nation called Nigeria. Make, let, uh, let us go there. Please, before that, help me like, share, comment, and uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel for a better news. And uh, any, uh, what do they call it? Any recommendation you have, please drop, drop it at the comment section. I will reply. Any good one. If you are there to cause me, no problem. Continue with your cause. Uh -huh. Because uh, when they point uh, one finger to me, remember the four fingers is pointing back at you. And that's what it can take be. The Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria has denounced the recent ruling by the Governorship Election Petition Tribunal in Enugu State. Okute News recalled that the tribunal had thrown out the Labour Party uh, Governorship uh, candidate, Chijoke Edoga's petition against Peter Ambas of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Reacting to the development, Huriwa lamented that the ruling has left the nation in a disbelief and the state of Quagamaya. They stated that the court has shown Nigerians that political aspirants can forge their certificates and get away with it. The group said this in a press conference in Abuja addressed by their national coordinator, Comrade Emmanuel Omubiko Ibunamo, according to the name we have here, expressing his outrage at the tribunal's verdict. The group observed that the ruling defies logic and raises serious questions about the integrity of Nigeria's electoral system. Anybody can become a governor now once you have money to pay yourself. Even a thousand on the street will soon tomorrow drag in the office of the president of the contraption or the third nation called Nigeria. According to the Human Rights Writers Association, they said the ruling is a gross miscarriage of justice that undermines the principles of fairness and transparency in elections, the group said. It asserted that the ruling not only condones potential acts of alleged uh, certificate forgery, but also sends a distressing message that political aspirants can manipulate their qualifications with impunity precisely because the tribunal deliberately failed to address that the aspect of petition, but rather played around flowery language to, do to judarize the panel's decision to unleash justice. Everything will end, no local standing, uh, based on technology, uh, technicalities, and uh, so on and so forth. Nigeria is a failed nation. 
and the judiciary is not helping matters. The three-man tribunal in a unanimous judgment delivered by each chairman, Justice Kudirat Akano, dismissed the petitions of the Labour Party and its candidate, Chijuke Edoga, on the basis that the National Youth Service Corps certificate is not a qualification to contest a governorship election. And at the hearing, in other words, you can do anything, anyhow, once uh, the, the judiciary will cover you up. This reasoning demonstrates a troubling lack of understanding of the law and its applications, according to uh, Omubiko. One of the most uh, troubling aspects of the ruling is that the acknowledgement by the tribunal that Governor Mba may or may not have uh, presented a likely for the NYSC certificate because the tribunal left the questions in an unmitigated and logical ambiguity when, in fact, it was expected to definitely or defensively make a pronouncement on the validity or invalidity of that allegation of certificate forgery, which, in any event, the governor has another subsisting matter in another court of uh, court of uh, coordinate jur uh, jurisdictions for interpretation. In other words, the tribunal which opted to deal with the, with that matter would have applied the law, but rather applied a sophistry and ended up not resolving that logical questions. Astonishingly, the tribunal considered that the certificate was present was presented, but argued that because Mba did not intend to use it to earn his qualification, he cannot be disqualified. <laughs> this dubious reasoning essentially tolerates potential forgery and undermines the very essence of electoral transparency and honesty, Omubiko added. In another development, Mekona Shia Yoruba elders, the Donde Kolo, say Akintoye and Sunday Bo, they need them to return back to their to them because they are on self exile, according to the news we have here. The Yoruba Council of Elders has called on a Bola Tunumbu led federal government to create an enabling environment for the return of all involuntary exiles. Okute News report that the Yoruba elders spoke in a communique. On Saturday, signed by Yoruba Council of Elders, scribe, scribe, Elder Oladipo, Oyewole, and the Publicity Secretary, Elder Nye Ajibulu, at the end of the Council's meeting of the Secretary General and State Secretaries, which was held in Ado Ikiti. The Council disclosed that those in exile include the personages of Professor Banj Akintoye and the Chief Sunday Ibuho. The elders stated that Akintoye and Ibuho were harassed for advocating proper and dignified treatment of their law abiding kinsmen. They also tackled former President Olusegun Obasanjo for embarrassing some traditional rulers in Oyo State last week, stating that the former president should certainly apologize and make restitutions. The elders stated the Yoruba Council of Elders takes exception to the humiliation recently meted out to the various traditional rulers of the Oyo state by Chief Olusegun upon the claim of status as a former head of state. This uh, malfeasance constitutes a shameful uh, affront to the dignity of Yoruba tradition and culture and thus stand condemned. They called on the Fulani government to reaffirm its responsibility to provide equal protection to all citizens and their con uh, constituent uh, groups, according to them. In another development, too, this one is uh, under uh, Metro Metro News. Uh, Boko Haram members ambush motorists, kill soldiers, and three civilians in Bruno State. Motorists and passengers, including soldiers and civilian joint task force, at uh, the weekend were ambushed by Boko Haram terrorists in Bruno State. A source who spoke with Vanguard on Sunday revealed that the incident happened during an escort along the Goza Lemankara. Over her road, leaving one soldier and three passengers dead. The terrorists also set ablaze the five commercial vehicles, including a security patrol vehicle, even as scores of motorists and passengers were either abducted or missing in action. The lawmaker representing Bruno South Ali Ndume has called for collaboration between the military and the youth in Goza to end the not killings in the community. Source that spoke with the platform on the incident revealed that incident happened on Saturday at about 5 p.m. in the evening. The source said 
I can inform you that about three civilians and a soldier were killed in a Boko Haram ambush along the Goza Limankara Uvaha Road. The deceased soldier, named with there for security reasons, was among the security agents escorting motorists and passengers before he was shot dead. About the five commercial vehicles and the patrol vehicle belonging to C uh, Community Joint Task Force were set ablaze, even as calls are still missing in the bush as of Sunday afternoon. Presently, our member representing Goza at the Bronu State House of Assembly, Honorable Abdullahi Buba, Abacha and other consigned personalities have led Medugri to Goza to sympathize with the families of the victims. Senator Ndume, while confirming the incident, said he was informed about the road ambush and other attacks by the Boko Haram terrorists but could not ascertain the number of casualties as of the time of reporting. He said, Yes, seriously, I was informed about the road ambush and other attacks by the Boko Haram terrorists but could not ascertain the number of casualties, especially the road ambushed by terrorists last Saturday in Goza. I knew that since the rainy season set in, several people, particularly farmers in Goza, were killed by terrorists. Although the military has been doing their best in uh, degrading or eliminating remnants of Boko Haram's in the Northeast, more needs to be done considering the renewed killings in my constituency like Goza town. Your constituency and you are in Abuja. I want to also appeal to the youth in Goza to wake up from their slumber and join the fight against Boko Haram, like what youth in Biu, Awol, Asikero, Uba, Chibok, and other local government areas are doing in complementing efforts of security agencies in the fight against terrorism, which have brought relative peace in those areas. I want to also call on the local government authorities in Goza to support men of the civilian joint task force as well as the military to intensify efforts and address the renewed killings in the Goza and its environs. It is regrettable to inform you that most of these killings in Goza are perpetrated by the youth in Goza who have joined Boko Haram and refused to surrender as witnessed in recent times. Therefore, I retreat that youth in Goza should please stop demonstrations or rioting whenever there is an attack. Rather, they should join the forefront in the fight against Boko Haram like what is obtainable in many communities. My appeal to the military is to deploy more troops in Goza so that they can finish the work they have started so that uh, these uh, intermittent uh, attacks on our farmers will stop. People are seriously living in fear. They are scared of going about their economic activities. Our farmers are no longer going to their farms to harvest their crops due to fear of unknown and it is very, very worrisome, according to Ndume. Well, my wonderful people, I beg now here we could take a break. When I go hear my voice again, let me do what? Leave one and make one and digest all this once. And as you are digesting it, make sure you are sharing it, liking, commenting that this government is nothing but a government of killings and a government of propagandas and lies. Since they took over office from May 2019 today, my brother and my sister, we have recorded many deaths, even more than what we recorded during the regime of uh, so-called uh, Muhammad Buhari, who handed over to this APC and the uh, INEC president. Well, my wonderful people, make gonna help me share this message so that everybody will get to know what is happening in the society. Have a nice day, and the good Lord bless you all. Today being Monday, God must surely provide all that you needed. Have a nice day. And bye for now, because Kemi Siano.